So now we're going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this beast. All right, so first the setup. We've got 3x squared minus 4x plus 5, x minus 1, x squared plus 1, equal to a over x minus 1. And for reasons that I've explained uh, in earlier videos, we write this as bx plus c over x squared plus 1. Now multiply on both sides by the denominator of the left-hand side by this thing here, x minus 1 times x squared plus 1. We get 3x squared minus 4x plus 5 equal to a times x squared plus 1 plus bx plus c times x minus 1. All right, now distributing ax squared plus a. And now foiling here, let's see, we've got bx squared minus bx plus cx minus c. Now collecting coefficients, going back to the top, collecting coefficients, oh, whoops, uh, we have 3x, left-hand side stays intact, 3x squared minus 4x plus 5. Collecting coefficients, let's see, um, the x squareds go together uh, to give us uh, a, x squared plus bx squared. The things with just x's go together. Minus bx plus cx. And the things with no x's go together. Plus a minus c. Now, distributive property in reverse, we have a plus b x squared plus negative b plus c x plus a minus c. Now, remembering that um, if two polynomials are equal, then that means they must have the same coefficients. That means that the thing in front of the x squared on the left, the 3, must be equal to the thing in front of the x squared on the right, so a plus b. The thing in front of the x on the left, negative 4, must be equal to the thing in front of the x on the right, so negative b plus c. The thing without an x on the left, 5, must be equal to the thing without an x on the right, so a minus c. So that tells us that a plus b equals 3. Uh, negative b plus c equals negative 4. And a minus c equals 5. Now, just because it, I think it makes more sense to put the, uh, the positive thing first, I'm going to write this as C minus B here. Uh, 
All right, and we have a system of equations, three equations, and three unknowns. We can always solve it. Uh, let me show you a way to go about that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write um, this last equation here, this one, in terms of A. So write this, so add C to both sides. And we have that A is equal to 5 plus C. Now, um, and then take that A and put it in over there. So A is equal to 5 plus C, so that says that 5 plus C plus B equals 3. So C plus B equals negative 2. And so now notice that I have C minus B equals ne negative 4 there. And I have C plus B equals negative 2. So that C plus B equals negative 2. If I add these two equations here, I'll get 2C, the B's will cancel, equals negative 6. And C equals negative 3. Once I know that C equals negative 3, then I'm off to the races. A equals 5 minus 3. A equals 2. If A equals 2, coming back over here, 2 plus B equals 3. Subtract 2 from both sides. B equals 1. And so now I found that three x squared minus four x plus five over x minus one x squared plus one is equal to two over x minus 1 plus 3 x minus 3 over x squared plus 1. And I did check to make sure that it was correct, um, and it is. Um, I did I did this math here, uh, this math here, and I got exactly this. So we know that is our partial fraction decomposition.